Hey guys, it's the twins down here at the Elliott Group. Let's go! Hey guys, these are some guerrilla marketing tips. Do you want to become a 40, 50, 60 car salesperson? Do you want to dominate your market? Listen, we were some of the top salespeople in the world. Andy showed us exact blueprint what we're going to show you today. We took these things from Andy and then what we did was went out and applied them and it changed our lives. This, this video's for anybody who wants that blueprint and wants to dominate. Let's go. Let's go. Tune in. So at the end of this video, by the end of it, you'll know exactly how to start attacking the market. This video is for people who want to become entrepreneurs. Write this down. Entrepreneur. There's three types of salespeople. There's the entrepreneur, there's the sales pro, and then there's the regular car salesman. That guy's dying. Let me explain to you what they are in detail so that way you can take ACV of yourself. Ooh. As car salesmen, we take ACV yeah. of everybody else. Sure. We can walk outside and we say, hey, look, that's a dollar car, that's a thousand dollar car. Take an honest assessment of yourself today and circle which one you are. The only way that you're gonna get better, winners, what they do is they look in the mirror. Losers look around at everybody else and they're trying to figure out what the problem is. Yeah. Today, we're gonna give you all the answers, but real quick, take ACV of yourself. Number one, you have the entrepreneur. Number two, you have uh, the car sales pro. And number three, you have the salesman. The salesman, the salesman, guys, mm -hmm. right here, is gonna be somebody who doesn't believe in training. Um, who maybe is on old school training or honestly, Ian, they just have a weak mindset. You know, they, they, they're, they're not learning and building every day on their skill set. Well, yeah, they're just standing by the gate. They're not going to build a brand. Listen, if you're a car salesman and you're just kind of the basic level car salesman, you're not doing the things to stand out in the crowd. You really don't, you know, take ownership in the business. And that's a really, you know, extreme separator. We call it the great separator between the next two. The next two are a lot more successful. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. We'll move into the sales pro. So the car salesman, we all know him. He complains about the leads. He doesn't really have a business. He doesn't really take accountability right. for anything. And he hasn't built anything great. And really, the dealership doesn't need him. If they closed down tomorrow or told him to go home tomorrow, like it wouldn't be a big deal. No one would miss any deals. But this guy needs the dealership. Like this guy needs the BDC. He's constantly focused He's on worrying the about all the leads. Are. Like this person is the person that's always focusing on everything else. Whereas he doesn't realize that he's the silver bullet or she, and they can grow at the at light speed pace if they just focus on themselves. Yep. Number two, you have the sales pro. This person's going to seminars, Ian. Yeah. They're getting jacked up. Yep. They're training. You can see them they're starting learning. to train. They're starting to build a brand. They're starting to build a yep. brand. They're growing. Yep. They're growing. They're putting in the work every day and they're putting in the repetition. And it's probably you on this video that has a great idea of like where you want to take your brand, what right. you want your brand to look like. You're not just thinking about you know t uh, today's business. You're thinking about tomorrow's business. The futures business everybody write this down you have to have these three things reach revenue and retention listen you're trying to reach customers for right now you're trying to reach more customers that's what this is all about you're trying to retain customers for the future you're a freaking entrepreneur you're graduating into this level where you're thinking about two years from now three years from now four years from now what are these people gonna think do I have these people retain and then obviously revenue is the byproduct of all of that that's how you graduate into an entrepreneur so Evan hammer out entrepreneur tell them why this guy is so different than everybody else and then we're gonna get into the six tips yeah they're gonna help you absolutely kill it entrepreneurs understand that there's three important keys for you to graduate to this level and it's time energy and capital you have to sit you have to put a lot of time a lot of energy and a lot of capital into your brand so as we get in some to some of these six tips you may say Ian and Evan like some of these cost money for me to do well we're also gonna ask you to be creative not necessarily do they have to cost you money but you have to understand you have to invest time and energy into them but you also have to invest some capital not only just into the marketing tips but into your mindset into your sales courses into where you want to go into how you look some people show up and dude they just they kind of look like crap. Yeah. Like you gotta grow up, show up, and deliver. That's true. So today is and about. You can't have stinky breath too. You, so you, you can't have. A, your breath, a million stinks, dollars your breath stinks a little bit. You're kind of burning my, my neck over here every time you turn. <laughs> Major tip. Let's just pause for a second. Make sure that you got some breath mints when you're on the lot. No okay? cut breath. Okay. Okay. Cool. So entrepreneur man, understand that this person doesn't need the dealership. This person is operating on the yep. C schedule, mm -hmm. not on the C A or B C schedule. 
To see you when I see you. This guy's got ultimate accountability, man. Listen, he has a brand. He sticks out in the crowd. It's almost like he's a famous person when he goes out. People are like, man, you're the car guy, man. That's who we wanted to be. We didn't want to just be a car salesperson. Yep. We wanted to be the car salespeople. The people, when you walked into some place, they're like, that's my guy, man. That guy stands out. He invests in it. He gets it, man. He's like the little business owner with inside of the business, okay? So that's a big difference in the level of talent that you have there. And if you're a dealership, you want that entrepreneur. You want that yeah. salesperson. You want that salesperson to graduate an entrepreneur. We fly around the country, you know, all year long, teaching some of the biggest companies, some of the best companies, how to brand market their people, do all the different things that you need to do to be an entrepreneur and also you salespeople out there you can reach out to. So let's jump into the six tips that are gonna make you different that we use and we're gonna give you some social proof, some things that you can do, and some things that we can make sure that you dominate it. Right? So let's talk about it. If you wanna become the great separator, you gotta do things that are different. If you wanna get treated differently than your competition, you better start freaking acting different than your competition. So number one, local partnerships. One of the most important things about having local partnerships is guys, there's only 24 hours in a day. Yep. There's only 24 hours. So you gotta put yourself out there. One of the greatest ways that we found to put ourselves out there was just being aware with the people that were coming into our dealership. If we were doing a credit app and we saw that somebody yeah. had a business, exactly. or if we saw some businesses around or we frequented, say a restaurant or something, we were talking or going live with the business owner. We were trying to provide them value and saying, hey listen, by the way, I see that you, uh, you own a restaurant. Or by the way, I come in your restaurant a lot of the times. Do you mind if I use my platform to go live so I can provide you some value with some of my followers? Yeah, so you're seeing a local partnership pop in right now. Guys, these are so easy to find. Listen, don't go into networking thinking about what am I gonna get out of it for me. Go into it thinking about how you can add value to this business. The businesses that you're seeing, it wasn't about us selling their people, it was about us being on their platform, but first and foremost, it was about helping them so that we could gain their trust, partner with them, actually bring some true value to them, and then you know go to the next level. So one of the partnerships, I'm just gonna go into one real quick, that was massive for us. Evan didn't want to do it because Evan was a little bit scared. I was Evan, a little bit scared, it was yep. my first one. He was playing first as a B one. player, or probably a C player this one, but we had <laughs> A, uh, we had a hospital, and it was a hospital next to us, this children's hospital in Denver, Colorado. They had hundreds of doctors, and one of the doctors bought a car from us. Listen, this is super simple, stay aware. Listen to what I'm telling you. Uh, we met with this doctor, we said, hey man, would you mind if we come in and you know drop some Chick-fil-A nuggets off with your team? You know, Just talk to him about a couple things. He said yes. Fast forward through the partnership, you know, we were able to sell hundreds of cars to the people that were inside of this hospital. You rolled up and you just almost saw that it was like just a, a Nissan fest sitting outside. Well, how did we do that? Well, every week we popped in to give them food. You know, we gave them value. We said, hey man, any, any of the nurses that are in here, you guys are all first responders, come to us, we take care of your first oil change. We also had the teachers. We supported the teachers union. We had the police, we supported them. We gave them free value and in turn, it really helped us to make a really great connection where we could sell them a lot of cars, but also number one, provide them value. But it's real simple. The one, I want you to write this down. The one leads to the many. It's really just simple. Ooh, the one giving, leads to the many. Just giving somebody simple value and saying, hey, what can I do to provide value for you and your business? You don't know where that's gonna lead. The goal is, is Ian said something important. Don't go into it thinking, what can I get? Go into it thinking, what can I give? What can I do for somebody else? And you, you may be thinking like, hey, Evan, I'm not that special. Hey, Evan, I'm a new car salesman. Like, why would these people, you know, want to do business with me or partner with me? You don't know how, how cool it is when you have somebody that's either young or starting out or trying and they're showing effort to provide value to your business. Ooh. You are special, yep. you do have something to provide, but you gotta start with one. So I want you to think about the next person that comes in and you and you like that customer and it's somebody you yeah. wanna partner and it, with. And it can be a restaurant owner, it can be anybody. Like the, It can be the nurse that you're just saying, hey listen, you, you work with a team of people. Would you mind if I just brought you guys lunch and introduced yes. myself to your team? Would you mind if I just spoke to them and you know gave them some free value in the form of an oil change or yep. something? You know, I didn't know that this partnership was gonna lead to selling the hospital so many cars and one of the coolest partnerships that we've ever had, but it was just about having some courage. And that's what guerrilla marketing is about. It's unconventional, but man, it can really gain you so much traction, but you're gonna, number one, you're gonna write, wanna write that down. You're gonna have to have some courage. And, and by the way, as Ian says, courage too it reminds me of something like listen you can either operate out of being fearful of what's gonna happen or you can have 
baby checks and be scared of payday. Like if you want to start going and attacking and not different. be scared about like, hey, where's your next customer coming from? You are gonna have to do th do, do things different. Yep. Number two, flyer marketing. A lot of people may think for some reason this is dead. It's absolutely nah. not. Like there was a couple of different ways that I'll let Ian give you some tips on, but it's real simple. You can go on any website, Vistaprint, any place, and print up some flyers. And Ian, give them a couple of examples on how we passed. Well, out we some. had this flyer and we just printed it out straight from Vistaprint. And anytime we pulled up to like a mall, any place that we were going, we just had these flyers on us. And listen, we would right put glove box. we would just put them right there on somebody's windshield and would say, hey, listen, if we could give you more money than your car's worth, you know, would you be interested in knowing what, what that would be? Here, click this QR code. That QR code would take them to just a lander where you can go to qr.com and put it on the lander and then it would have them fill out a guest sheet where it's just basically like how much do you owe what is your car worth and guys those are leads we had plant those everywhere listen we even had our nephews go out into the neighborhood and go door to door and guys does that take a little bit of money does that take a little bit of courage does that take a little bit of extra effort yeah but if you want to get bigger results then you're gonna to have to do like bigger effort have bigger action so we would take the flyers out Number one, we would put them anywhere we went just around cars. Listen, that could piss some people off, but number one, a lot of people know that you're really trying hard, so it's not, they, they ain't with you if it's already pissed them off. Yeah. Number two, if you're, you can, you can go to neighborhoods and you can spread these flyers Absolutely. out. It's about meeting people. It's Absolutely. about getting out of your shell and it's about doing more. The flyer marketing was huge for us. Listen, if it cost you 800 bucks and you know, a, sat, a couple Saturdays, but you're able to make eight or 10 more car deals and you're able to start to develop you know, an influence around your area, would that be worth everything to you? Heck yeah. Well, that's what will happen if you actually go do this and apply what we're telling you because we actually did it ourselves. Now, I wanna, I wanna talk to you too real quick before we get into the next one. If you struggle with confidence or if you're one of the salespeople out there that are like, man, that is a little scary, that's exactly where you need to go. That's what you need we'll to chase. To that. If you wanna get really good at becoming a good salesperson, actually going out and shaking more hands and kissing more babies, that's exactly where you need to go. You don't need more money, you need more people. Write that down. You don't need That's more good. money, you need more people. Yep. Number three is a killer, killer, killer way to not only have people come back in the store to see you with the piggy banks, Retention. but I'm gonna let Ian explain to you, our, our water bottle technique, I mean, it was something that just lived on and grew to something that we never expected it was going to grow to. Yeah. Uh, but the piggy banks was one of my favorite ways and listen, to pay attention to this. And listen, these, these tips are meant to get your mind created for you to start thinking about things that you can do. You know, whether you use our tips or not, you're going to have to get creative and start just, you know, thinking about what you could do to elevate yourself in Absolutely. your community in the area that you're in. We are in a place called Denver, Colorado. There's red rocks. It's a freaking mountain. It's amazing. It's hot. When people would come down from the mountain, Evan and I would spend our Sundays at the bottom of the mountain. We'd have water bottles and had our branding and marketing. Guys, can I ask you, when somebody's coming down a mountain and it's all hot outside, what do they want? Well, they want some water. Right. So they'd stop by our table and they'd say, oh my God, you guys are giving free water. And they'd say, free water. We'd say, hey, yeah, we're your car guys. We're the twins. You've probably seen some of our marketing. Have some free water on us. Now, is that necessarily going to lead to a car deal right there that minute? No, but people started to see it everywhere they went. They knew we were different. And man, we would meet some people that would lead us to the different local partnerships like realtors. Like, wow, you guys do this? Oh my God, that's really cool. It led to conversations and it led to more things than we could ever imagine just by doing more. So the water bottles was key because people would come down that mountain, they yeah. were thirsty. They were jacked up. Listen, you can have hot coffee outside of a snow resort and where you're just sitting down there, you know, at the end of a mountain and you're giving somebody some hot chocolate with your branding and marketing, you're meeting people, you're out there with your family, you're out there with your friends. I know most people won't do it because it requires more effort and more work, but that's who we are and we wanted to be different, so we truly had to do something different. Now, by the way, like you can take any of these tips and start to just implement one. Like I want you to write down and right now start to circle your favorite one that you can go back and do right now, today. It's all about taking action and implementing something right when you have that yeah. right idea. Guys, so piggy banks. Man, piggy banks was one of our favorite ways Absolutely. to get, not only retain customers, but to have something fun and exciting yeah, for the kids. kids. Yep, and you for know, kids. The kids are one of the most important parts of the sale. Yeah. What we would do is we'd buy piggy banks in bulk and at the end of the sale our logos or at the beginning of the sale you could give them to the kids and say listen we're gonna help you save up for your first 
we had a little kid. We'll show at the bottom yeah. where we'd help You're him. You're seeing in, him in, now. Look at that little suit. He invested in his first suit. We, had, we would tell people we'd invest in uh, their first, being able to buy their first car. So we put $10 in it. We say, when you get to 100 come back in. We'll take a picture with you, and we'll match the 100 bucks. And what does that do? That's retention. Listen, if you want more referrals, you're going to also have to do something different. So the customers would come back in, you know, a month and a half later, two months later for their first oil change. Year. And they'd say, little Johnny right here, like the picture that you're seeing, they'd say, he saved up 100 So we would match him some money, X, Y, Z dollars. And then they would be able to see us again. We'd say, hey, man, listen, dude, you only sent us two referrals last month. Man, can't you send us another couple of people? Whatever. But we're able to still keep that connection with our customer. We're still able to make that family happy. We're also able to post that picture like you're seeing now with the little man in his suit coming back. And uh, that one was really cool because we had this suit deal. deal. He said, I want to get a suit like yours. We're like, save up 200 bucks and then we'll help you buy your first suit. So he did. Yep. Now he's in his little suit. How cute is that? That's just thinking different. That's doing different. That's getting creative. Having that's fun. getting aware. And it's having fun. So many people don't, I have mean, right fun. now, put a freaking smile on your face. Have a lot some of people, fun. if you're watching this content, we want you to be excited and have fun and start to think big about your business. My favorite one, I think my favorite one is number four. Charities. Charities is one of my favorite. Absolutely. Things possible because not only did it have a dramatic impact on our sales, it helped the community. One of our favorite charities was to partner with was one of our local favorite basketball yeah. programs. And really quickly, it was just we partnered with a local legend, a local coach that was just amazing. And he said, "Man, I've got this charity." We said, "Hey, if we could do ten dollars a share, play some knockout basketball. You're seeing it right now on the showroom floor. If we could share it, and uh, anybody that you get to share it will pay ten dollars." Man, it went crazy. It got a lot of shares. It got a lot of engagement. We sold a lot of cars on that and then they put us on their flyers They mailed it out to all their parents yep. their parents bought cars from us We showed them to their games their game. Car. Yep, and donated on each car and then uh, you know they're on their their jerseys was our logo So our logo is everywhere. We're just getting you more around people. So that one was huge be aware again of the people that are coming into your dealership that you can capture uh, their eyes. Yeah. Local influencers is really easily easy. There's local rappers in your area, local music artists, artists. There's local, you know, uh, prodigies. There's and local, freaking, there's local realtors and local insurance agents that will they're love everywhere. To come down yeah. and go live with you reach at your out store with them. or make a video with you. Just reach out to them and ask them how much value you can provide to them and see where that partnership goes. Number six, event signs. Huge. Event signs is one of our best ways to bring an actual tangible credit apps that we could convert right there. What we would do is we'd have somebody that we had hire or ourselves at the very beginning. We'd go around with a sign and at, you know, at the beginning of a Nuggets game, before the, at the, you'd always see our right sign. Right at the bottom of the Pepsi Center when there's hundreds of people coming in, we'd be holding up our sign that say, here, if we could get you more money than your car was worth, would yeah. you be interested in knowing or, what that is? Or, or, if you have, yeah, or credit, we'd say, hey, listen, you know, I'd say, hey, bad credit, no credit, whatever, no problem. Yep. Reach out. You can be approved in five minutes. Just text this number. And honestly, I don't even know how many games we went to. Maybe a hundred walking around with these signs. And listen, that's just more effort. But people will reach out. People will see you doing different. So today, we covered some branding and marketing tips, some guerrilla marketing tips, some things that you can do to separate yourself. You need to take action. Take action on some of them. Guys, you're one decision away from starting to capture the eyes, the people around your community, the influence there. If you want to be the person of interest, if you want to be the person of intrigue, well, then you're going to actually truly have to do something different. That's how we built this business that still operates today like a company. It still sells 20 to 30 a month, and we don't even mess with it because it was built on rock of helping and supporting people, doing the right thing. You can do it too. Also, reach out to us, 480-780-2203. Again, 480-780-2203. We've got hundreds of branding and marketing tips. We've got hundreds of advertising tips. We've got hundreds of guerrilla marketing tips, okay? These were some quick ones just to get you thinking, to get you creative, and to get you going to the next level. Hey, and go on ahead, if you have your own guerrilla marketing tactics, go on ahead and drop them right below, some different strategies and things that you've used that have worked. And by the way, text us on that number, we'd love to help you out. Love to help you out, kick some butt, let's go baby! Woo! Woo! Let's go! Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.